It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Or not. Forbes recently released their 2024 Celebrity Billionaires list, but no sign of music mogul and entrepreneur Sean Diddy Combs. Is Diddy in a cash crisis? Let's take a look inside his empire. I'm Khalila Reynolds, founder and CEO of Money Media. So he's one of hip hop's richest figures, but is his money slowly drying up due to recent legal troubles? Let's first look at how Sean Diddy Combs became so wealthy, legally anyway. Us millennials know Diddy for founding Bad Boy Records in the 1990s. The record label reportedly brought in around $130 million annually. By 2016, his Sean John clothing line reportedly had retail sales of around 450 million US dollars, and he sold the company for 70 million that year and then bought it back for just 7 million in 2021. Add in his ventures in media production, marketing, and real estate, and you're looking at a pretty powerful and prosperous tycoon. But in true Diddy fashion, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> in 2007, he partnered with Ciroc Vodka, which is owned by Diageo. Diageo is a British company that produces and distributes alcohol beverages such as Johnny Walker, Smirnoff, and Guinness. It has a net worth of over $80 billion. So with all these earnings, Forbes proclaimed Diddy a billionaire in 2022. However, over the past five months, the music mogul has been served a series of lawsuits which have obviously affected his brand and his pocket. So what's at stake? For starters, his legal team alone will cost him millions to retain. According to the New York Post, he's looking at approximately 1,800 US dollars per hour. Not to mention his settlement with Cassie for an undisclosed sum. There have been rumors that it's in the range of 30 to 50 million US dollars. He's also given up the publishing rights for some of Bad Boy's top artists. Then in November, Macy's phased out his clothing brand, Sean John. And in December, Hulu canceled his reality series. But wait, there's more. It's always more with Diddy. Diddy also sold off all of his shares of cable TV network Revolt. And at least 18 companies have been distancing themselves from him amidst the allegations. But perhaps Diddy's biggest financial hit to date has come from his dissolved partnership with Diageo and Ciroc. It's reported that throughout the 15-year partnership, he had made nearly a billion dollars from this single venture. Well, guilty or not, Diddy is set to lose a significant portion of his fortune, and that's the bottom line. So do you think he'll ever see the Forbes billionaires list again, or is that the least of his problems? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to our newsletter for money news like this straight to your inbox. Click the link up here or in the description below. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs>